and what Bexos. Welcome back to my channel if you're a subscriber and welcome if you're new. Today is my first Friday Sews vlog. So happy Friday guys. I hope you've all had a chance to sew this week and I hope that you are all well. So I discussed in my last vlog which was my August makes that I've been creating far too many things and think it would be better to actually break it down over the weeks rather than doing it all in one go at the month. Plus, I change my mind too much. Um, I, I figure when I make patterns and I make decisions, I do it once a week. Um, whereas when I do like a fabric haul or a shopping, I'll say that I'm going to make this pattern with that and it never happens um, and I change my mind. So this way I feel like if I'm doing it regularly that I'm probably not going to be... Um, and deviating from what I'm sort of saying or I'll be making that final decision that week if that makes sense. So let's start with what I'm wearing although I have to say it is very creased. Um, this is the Billy Jumper um, by Tilly and the Buttons. Um, this is actually made in a lightweight viscose jersey um, that I got from Neil's Fabrics that are based in Milton Keynes and then I've got some ribbon that I believe I got this from Jenny Stitches Fabrics as well. So but it's perfect the weather outside's completely changed. It's very grey and just makes me want to wear something like a jumper, but not full on. It's not cold enough to wear a jumper jumper. So this is perfect. It's very, very comfortable. Let me see if I can pop you around so you can see. There we go. And I've just got it on with a pair of ready to wear skinny jeans. Um, perfect for Friday. I am off work this week and today I am going to be doing housework and food shopping. So not really anything exciting going on. Hopefully I'll get some sewing time a bit later. So let's get into the actual Friday sews. What have I been making this week? So considering I've had the week off work, usually that means a ton of sew time. But actually, not so much this week. I decided that I was going to clean my house from top to bottom, clean all my carpets. And then when I did dedicate a day to sewing, I sat there and anybody that follows me on Instagram, um, which is the same as my YouTube handle, it's what Beck sews. Um, I decided that I was going to get out some patterns and look for some inspiration on Thursday. And actually what I ended up doing was getting out my patterns, reorganising everything, where I've been sewing in the weeks where I've been working, I've, you know, I'll put a pattern down somewhere and then there'll be bits of pattern everywhere. So I grouped everything back together, put it all back where it should be, sorted my um, paper printed patterns from my actual digital printed patterns, if that makes sense. Um, so the ones that are printed by the um, pattern company to the ones that I'm printing, sorted all of them out and put them into various different boxes. So I do feel more organized for it. But I did manage to get some sewing done. So let me show you what I've been up to. We'll start with the basics first. So I haven't actually bought out my September plans, which I've now decided is going to be an autumn plans. Um, and I have made the decision that I've got an awful lot of things that I want to get made up, which is why I've done it into an autumn plans rather than a September plans. Because then I'm talking about the next couple of months before we move into the really cold weather. But some of the things that would have been listed on there would have been some staples that I needed in the wardrobe. And they are some trousers. Now, if you watched my fabric haul video from Fabricland last month, I think it might have been the very beginning of last month that uh, for all those that bought off of my D-Stash account, the money went straight back into more fabric. But you'll see that I bought some gorgeous viscose twill um, and I have made up some Anna, Anna Allen Pomono pants. So I have made up some shorts in this pattern and I really, really like the way that they fit me. So I decided that I would try the wide leg because I prefer a wide leg. It suits my shape a little bit more. It gives me more of that curvaceous figure um, that I do kind of have. Um, so yeah, I've made these up. Now these are gorgeous. This red pair was the first pair I made. And with the Pomono pants, they have this lovely little detailing down the front. So on the seam line, I don't know if you can see that, on the seam line, you then, once you've sewn it together, you then take what is the inside. This is all in the same overlocker thread, so I don't know how well you're gonna see this. So that bit there, your actual seam, and you would fold it over. And then you would give it another pleat line so it looks like this. It just looks like a lovely, smart detail on the trousers. You are supposed to do it 
up the legs as well, but I haven't. Um, I have done on my shorts version. I'll pop a picture of the shorts version in here so you can actually see. But what I did do with these particular ones, these were the first ones I got made up and I was in such a hurry to sew after uh, doing all of that sorting that I made a bit of a error that I need to go back and fix because I didn't realise that I'd done it until the very end. So can you see I've caught that pucker and it's in really awkward place on my body. Um, so I'll pop some footage in of me doing a little 360 view twirl video thing for you so you can see me actually wearing these red ones. They are gorgeous. This fabric is lovely to work with and actually the topic of conversation um, today that Jen has kindly provided is what fabric do you prefer to sew in? And I've really taken a liking to viscose twill. Um, I've made a few different things now recently in viscose twill and I think it's got to be one of my favourite fabrics to sew. I mean, cotton obviously does everything you want it to do, but nine times out of ten, because it's so structured at the end, whilst I enjoy sewing with it, I find that cotton, I don't fully like the make that I've made. There will be some things that get made up in cotton that you know, I absolutely love. Um, but I always find because it's so structured and it hasn't got that drape across the body, I don't like it as much. So viscose twill, topic of conversation for Friday so it's, it's definitely one of my favourite fabrics to sew with. It just, it behaves itself and it's a lovely fabric as well. It's got this, I don't know if you can really see that if it's coming up. So yes, these are the first pair that I made. What I am going to go back and do, and I might do this later this afternoon, I'm going to put some top shit stitching down on here because you would have seen from the video footage, it, they look fine as they are, but I have found that the elastic is moving around in them a little bit. So if I put the top stitching on, the elastic will stop moving about. And I did that with my shorts and it worked really well. But I do feel these are quite luxurious. They've got that cut because of that drape, you see. It's just lovely. Because of that drape, they just have that luxury feel. And my blue ones that I've made, these ones, I have made them slightly longer so I can wear heels with them. I love these. I think these look really luxurious. I mean, that colour's just stunning, but these just look, they've got, I don't know, it's almost like they've got a sheen to them, even though they haven't, and it's very, very matte coloured. Um, they feel like they've got a sheen. Now, what I haven't done with these ones is I haven't done the, the seam line down the front. The reason for that being is I had no top stitching thread that was like a cobalt blue. So you can see that I've actually done it in sort of a navy colour. And I'm sure it would have looked fine. But I was very, very conscious of it when I was doing it. It's the same as the hem you can see there. I mean, I know it doesn't stand out too much. It's not really coming up on the camera, but I can see it and I know it's there. Now, these I'm really happy with. These are my favourite out of the two pairs. I'll pop some video footage in of me wearing them. I just think they look great. I can see me in a pair of heels wearing these. I've got images of a black blouse, um, just either a patina blouse or an Anna Allen Anthea blouse. I'm just wearing them with these to work. I think they're absolutely stunning and a lovely pair of heels to go at the bottom, which is why I've made sure that they're long enough to wear. Um, but they are wide leg. So I think I'm going to give the Anna Allen Pomono pants a try on the tapered leg as well, um, because I just want to see how that looks on me. I do think I, prefer, I will prefer the wide leg, but I want to see how it looks um, and make a judgment call when I've made them. Um, what I will say is, guys, these are an incredibly quick sew. So I got these done yesterday afternoon. I think each pair took me about an hour and 15 minutes to do. Um, and that was with cutting as well, because it is just one pattern piece. Um, so you've got the front and the back um, and you sew the two tops um, so the crotch area down and then you flip them around then you sew round and then you turn the waistband down and then you hem so it's a really really straightforward pattern obviously with the top stitching on these ones were even quicker because I didn't have the top stitching on them so yeah absolutely love these guys I think they're a brilliant so they look nice and luxurious and um, I would definitely be making more of these as I go into winter I do prefer an elastic waist by the way I'm just going to say that an elastic waist for me because my belly fluctuates quite a lot is just far more comfortable than having a structured waist I know it doesn't always look great and I think if I was a person in the 
the video footage that I've shown you, I'm wearing just a cami top underneath them so you can see what they look like. But I would wear a blouse over them so it wouldn't be something I'd necessarily tuck in so you wouldn't necessarily see it. Um, yeah, so the, the blouse would give me my shaping rather than the, the high waist. Um, but I suppose that depends on your preference and I actually think with that top stitching I could get away with tucking them in. So they were what I class as essentials. Um, they were things that I needed to get made up. As we go into the cooler months, I need some more trousers. Um, and then I had a make that I wanted to make. So I've been eyeing up the Anna, Anna Allen Anthea blouse for a little while. But one of the things that I've been really unsure about is the puff sleeves. Um, I didn't know how I'd feel about them. I was conscious about them making me look a lot larger. I think the fact that I've lost a bit of weight, I've mentioned this in a few vlogs. Last night guys, I got my stone award, so I've officially lost a stone. It's taken me forever to do that. Um, so yeah, it's. I feel a little bit more comfortable in my own skin. Some of my definitions coming back and it kind of encouraged me to make this. Now I went for the dress. So I wanted to make the dress because I thought I'd gauge whether I don't mind the sleeves or not from wearing the dress, but the way that the dress is structured, I thought it will give me some nice shaping and it might actually even me out. Um, I said that I was going to use this fabric for a jumpsuit, but I actually ended up deciding that I was going to use this to make the blouse. So look at this. Now, I don't know whether you could really say this is a seasonal make because as we're going into autumn, I'm not sure that I can wear this in autumn or not. Let me know what you guys think um, in the comment box down below because I can see me, this is going to be perfect for holiday. I can actually see me on holiday wearing this at the bar um, with a cocktail in hand of an evening before going out for dinner because it's just so beautiful. And it does feel to me, because of the brightness of the purple and the greens on the black base background, it feels summery. Now this was, um, this fabric came from Rainbow Fabrics. Um, I know they've got none of this in stock um, because I have actually gone back on to look to buy a little bit more to put in my stash for next season, next summer season, because I really love this fabric and I've only got about a metre left of it. I did get four metres. This comes together really quickly as well. I made, I, I cut this out on Tuesday night and I made this in Across two nights I think it took me a couple of hours in total to sew up um, and yeah I was really pleased with how well it came together I'm not so sure about the buttons that I've chosen they seem to be slipping through so these were just some basic buttons that I had in my um, stash these are I think they just came as like an assorted bag and I've done them in sort of there you can see it in that color in a purple color um, but we'll see how we get on um, I put it on without the waist high and I've actually taken some video footage of with and without the waist high because I like it both ways. I can also see me wearing this undone as a sort of overcoat jacket with a pair of wide leg black based viscose trousers and maybe like a cami top underneath pulling in the red colours or something like that. So I think there's a couple of different ways that this could be styled. I also think I could get away with wearing this with some black tights, thick black tights and um, a pair of nice black boots. One of the things I do love about this is the slightly curved hem. I feel that's quite sexy. I really, really like that look. Um, but I absolutely love this and I find that the viscose um, means that the drape on the puff sleeve actually is perfect for me and it gives me the view that I want. One of the things I do worry about with this is the high neck. Um, I didn't know whether I'd get on with the high neck or how I'd feel about the high neck. Um, but actually, it, it looks fine. I'm really happy with it. So yeah, lots of different styling choices for this. I'm wondering how much I can get away with wearing it in the autumn, but it will certainly come on holiday with me. Um, I'll pop some video footage in here so you can actually see me wearing it and see how beautiful this uh, piece of fabric is and the way it drapes and the way that I move. But this is definitely one of my favourite makes for a long while and I've already put on my list that I'm making for my next vlog that I've got to film today, um, which is my autumn plan. And, um, what it is that I'd like to uh, be sewing up and that that is going on there both the blouse version and another dress version just probably in a bit more seasonal appropriate fabric so what else do I want to talk about so they're the three things that I got made up this week um, I should have a fair bit to show you next week as well because although it's Friday today I have today off I am 
if it stops raining doing a car boot tomorrow um but sunday and monday i'm off on monday as well i've got plenty of time to so i've got no other plans all the girls are ready for, to go back to school next week so i'm really looking forward to having that little bit more sewing time um i'm doing a car boot tomorrow which is kind of exciting and i know it goes off the off the topic of sewing but actually it does relate to sewing so um at the beginning of the year for anybody that watched my I look back at it and go, oh my God, that's awful, Becky. But anybody who watched my first, very first vlog in January, they will see that I'd sort of made this pledge that I wasn't going to buy any new ready to wear clothes this year, that I was gonna focus on making everything and have a me made wardrobe. The only thing I could do to be slightly more sustainable is I could buy ready to wear clothes from a charity shop and go thrifting sort of thing. So I've stuck to that pledge, guys. The only thing I've bought this year is a handmade garment which i think should be an exception um and it was a pair of handmade dungarees that i bought in scarborough when i was on holiday just because i fell in love with them but um yeah other than that i've stuck to it so much so that tomorrow i am actually doing a car boot where i haven't reached for half of my ready to wear stuff for such a long time i'm selling it all so um yeah, that'll be interesting and hopefully the proceeds will go to buy more fabric because I have given myself a fabric burn through September. I need to shop for moustache a little bit. I got quite a lot of stuff for my birthday, as you guys will know. I got more fabric from the Festival of Quilts, as you guys know. So I need to do some shopping for my stash and there's plenty of autumn appropriate clothing in there. What I will need to do is purchase some more wintry fabrics, some more knits and um, maybe some fleece backs. Um, as I go more into the winter months um, because I've got quite a lot of viscoses in there but they'll do for shirts and stuff so it's just thinking pragmatically about what's in my stash and actually using it up. So plans for this coming week. I only really have one fixed one um, at the moment and I think I'll probably end up making a few of these. These are going on my autumn plans in this month's latest Love Sewing magazine um, that I subscribe to. Um, there is this beautiful blouse on the front let me show you the actual i'll show you the hack as well so somebody's done a hack of it there and made it into a dress because one of the versions that you can have is this cami version um and then they've put the long sleeve they've put a couple of different um ones on here which i was quite impressed with because you really got to see it so one of them is this sort of mid-length sleeve on here which I think is beautiful, um, but also my favourite is this one here. So I have this and I've actually cut this one out to start making up. Um, and I think this would be great for work. Um, I have going to use this fabric here that you will see was one of my disaster makes. Um, but I think that would be quite lovely. Um, it might look a bit granified on this print um, and I am conscious of that. So I need to pair it with the right trousers. Um, and I think doing a bit of youthful makeup and styling will help with that. But yeah, it's um, I think that will be absolutely lovely. But I've got plans to make a few more. I may make one of the camis. So I've got the packet here. I have. So this is what the packet and the line drawings look like. So I quite like the flutter sleeve version. You've obviously got the elasticated mid mid uh, version and then you've got the long sleeve, which I think going into water and both of these would be appropriate. But I might make this version um, for holiday as well because I've still got that at the end of September. Um, and I've got quite a few things to take on holiday with me. But I think having one of those and um, maybe my black um, pomono shorts would be perfect. Um, just sort of like an additional if, if I am really lucky and the weather stays really warm over there I'll go into Menorca so the weather should be okay so these are the line drawings on the back so you can see them in a bit more detail um, but they are they're just lovely um, I'm really 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 like this top so um, this comes in sizes up to XXL um, which is a bust of 48 inches so not not massively size inclusive but not 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 size inclusive i mean it has got um I, i've 
when I was reading up on this, it does come up oversized. And actually, when you read the maker's profile in there, she said that she sized down on it. So um, I've gone for what my measurements put me in, which is a large, um, which is a bust of 38 to 40 and a hip size of 40 to 42. Now, my hips are actually bigger than that, but because of the ease and it doesn't give me the finish garment measurements which is really frustrating um but because i've got i've heard that it's got lots of ease i think that'll be fine but i'll let you know next week on how i get on with that so that's the one thing i've got to make up obviously i'm pulling together um ideas for my autumn makes as well guys so as soon as i've got my autumn makes lined up i'm sure that there'll be a few more things that i get cut out because i've got plenty of time to sew at the beginning of the week and then next week i know it's going to be a struggle for me to get sewing done um i am going to the imax in birmingham on uh, thursday i'm supposed to be going wednesday and thursday but i have a few more to go to so um and that's for work um to do my do my job um so i'm going there and um, doing that on thursday so it's gonna be a long day i have to swim in one thursday night so it's a bit of a washout on thursdays um tuesday will be my first day back at work and i know it's going to be a long day after having a week off i've already spoken to one of my colleagues and heard about things going wrong so i know i've got lots to do when i get back and uh, we have a new starter in our team as well next week so um friday i'm in the office looking after her as my boss is currently on holiday so yeah it's going to be a jam-packed week for me back at work next week but i do have monday so hopefully i'll have a few things to um share with you and i think i'm going to end up filming my friday shows i don't know maybe when i'm back from work on friday afternoon um but yes it'll be an interesting um week and i'm looking forward to it so i hope you guys have enjoyed my friday sews content um and i am um, look forward to sharing some with you next week if you do like it please give it a thumbs up and if you'd like to see more don't forget you can click that subscribe button and knock that notifications bell because it will tell you when um my new content comes out and i will see you again on sunday when i release my autumn makes thank you very much have a good week happy sewing guys bye